So when I first started learning how to play bass, one of the biggest things that made me want to learn how to play was funky and groovy bass lines. Today I want to show you four different funky lines that you can use wherever in your playing, going from easy all the way to advance. So let's jump into it. So all these grooves are going to be based off of the E Mixolydian scale. If you don't know what that is, all it is is the E major scale. But instead of going to the 7, we're going to go to this flat 7. A lot of times with Mixolydian, it's like kind of a more dominant sound, like like a dominant chord or something like that. So that's the reason why a lot of times you hear it in a lot of funk style music. So with all these grooves, it's gonna be a mix of ghost notes and different notes that are in the Mixolydian scale. So all I'm doing is playing E or the one, three, four, and then four, and go chromatically, four sharp, five. So you get this. Okay, and then you go flat seven, six, five, four, five. So you get this. So make sure you pay attention to my right hand because a lot of these rhythms are coming from my right hand and not my left. My left hand's doing a little work, but my right hand's doing a lot of work. So watch this. So I'm just gonna be ba 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 ghost note, three, four, ghost note, four sharp, five, flat seven, ghost note, six, five, five, four, five, Five. Remember the key to these grooves are the ghost notes in your right hand movement. So now this groove is going to be all the way up here on the 12th fret and it's still going to be an E mixolydian, but it's going to be a little bit more simpler. It's kind of a little bit more James Brown, I think is the inspiration behind this one a little bit more. Now I know this is a lot of ghost notes, but it really makes for a really groovy bass line. So here's what I'm doing. So I'm just going one, five, one, and then I'm going ghost note, flat seven, Ghost note on the A string again. Six. Ghost note on the A string. And then five. And then back to the one. So you get this. And just remember, ghost notes are when you don't have a pitch to the note, it's just a thud. So I don't wanna be pressing down like this and getting that note, I want it to just be a thud like that. Now at the very end, I do this little lick to kinda of like as a turnaround to start it all over. And so I'll play it, I think three times, and then I do this. And all I'm doing is playing a flat three, three, one, flat seven, five, and back to the one. So you get this, pluck, hammer run, 
pluck, pull off, pluck, one. So all together you get this. So right now this groove is a little bit more of just a pattern all the way through a ton of ghost notes on this one and what we're using is a chromatic scale walking from the one to the five. So the way this is going to start off is basically this is going to be like a big circle kind of turnaround groove where it's going over and over and over again and it's using the same exact pattern the entire time. But the way we're going to start is we're going to start right on the one. It's just going to be an octave. One and the octave and you're going to do this pattern. Slide from the fret before the note you're going to which is the three like that and then you're going to do this pattern right after. So watch this. Then you're gonna keep going up and get this pattern. definitely the more advanced one so I will say it may take you a little bit more time because the articulations are really fast and also your left hands doing some work as well so basically all it is is we're using the diminished 7 arpeggio to start it off like this So after you go down the diminished seven arpeggio, doubling back, you're gonna go two chromatically up to three, to the five, flat seven, six, five, three, one. So you get this. I'm gonna link this practice track that I played with and created in the description below, free to all you guys, so you can practice and get it under your hands. So if you guys like this video or have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And also let me know, do you like these Groove and Lick videos? I wanna know if I should do these more often, so let me know in the comments as well. And if you would like to support this channel, you could go check out my website, travisdykesmusic.com, or check out any of the affiliate links that are in my description of any of my videos. Anytime you click on them and purchase something through them, this channel gets a kickback to help bring you more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.